What's up guys, Epoxy here, and today I'm bringing you all the top 10 best crafted primary weapons that you need to be using in the Crucible in 2024. This is not a tier list, I will just be going along based on weapon types, starting with auto rifles, pulse rifles, SMGs, hand cannons, and lastly sidearms. No, there will not be any scout rifles or bows in this list, sorry not sorry because they are just not it right now. If you enjoyed this video at any time, make sure to hit that like and subscribe button, and comment below letting me know what you think of this list and some weapons that you might have included yourself. Now, let's hop right in. Starting with our auto rifles, we have a great secondary slot auto rifle known as the Emit AR-2. It's a solar weapon that's a precision frame that shoots 450 rounds per minute and has some great perks you can put on it. If you look here, this is the god roll I like to use. I like to use hammer forward rifling for the barrel, high caliber rounds for the magazine. Then looking at the first trait, I like to use dynamic sway reduction and also tap the trigger. And then to top it all off, I would definitely use a range masterwork because as you see here, it gets us up to 86 range, 47 stability, 48 handling without having any of these things procced. But as soon as you proc tap the trigger, you go from 47 stability all the way up to 91, which is crazy. And this will last for the first 0.76 seconds upon pulling the trigger. So it's a very great trait to have. And then we also have Amalan Fluid Dynamics, which is the origin trait. This weapon has increased reload speed and stability for the top half of the magazine. So when that's active, you basically just get to over 100 stability and you'll have 70 reload speed, which is pretty decent. So all this works together to make this weapon truly a beast. And it's why it's my favorite auto rifle for the secondary slot. And it also only takes two red borders to craft, so it's super easy to get. Next on the list, we have my all time favorite, my baby, the Fire Fright. This auto rifle I've been using since it came out and I've always talked about it on my channel. So you're probably sick of hearing it if you're not new, but this thing is a must craft. It's a 450 rounds per minute, also a precision frame like the Mitt, but this one is in the primary slot. So you have two different choices you can use. This is obtained from farming the weekly mission known as presage so it's kind of hard to get one but you could definitely farm it out use your deep sights do whatever you need to to get your hands on one of them but you see here for my perks i like to use hammer forged rifling for the range high caliber rounds and then for the traits i like to use fragile focus on top of adagio these two perks together are seriously slept on and they're really insane to use and then you see here i like to use a stability masterwork putting me at 75 range 51 stability and 43 handling so a very great auto rifle and once you proc fragile focus if you don't know what fragile focus does here you go this weapon gains bonus range until your shield is destroyed so basically go here go from 75 to 95 range so 20 plus range difference which is pretty crazy and on top of this we have adagio which is a very strong trait you see here after defeating a target this weapon fires charges or draws more slowly and deals increased damage for an improved time and this lasts for eight seconds puts up to max range once you proc adagio and then okay let's look at time to kill do time to kill here like 0 0.6 0 0.8 0 0.8 proc adagio 0 0.6 but it's only four headshots to kill someone so it is pretty crazy and this is why i enjoy using it so much the stability seems kind of low but trust me when you use this weapon it is super simple and does not need the stability the range on it is what's most important that's why i choose to use high cal over ricochet rounds you just gotta trust me i use the weapon a lot definitely craft this or at least try getting one if you don't have it it is very useful in pvp and i have thousands and thousands of kills on it but yeah that's all for the auto rifles on the list now we get to hop into the pulse rifles first up on the list we have the peace of mind which is a 540 rpm rapid fire frame pulse rifle that is obtained from vox obscura exotic mission it's not that hard to get you can farm out whenever it comes into rotation get a few red borders a week and then yeah you'll have one crafted eventually but these are the perks i like to run on it and it's personally the pvp god roll in my opinion um i like to use hammer forge rifling ricochet rounds and then for the traits i like to use perpetual motion with moving target but you can also use elemental capacitor if you are running the right subclass you know having a lot of stability is very great for this thing so pick whatever one works for you and then for the masterwork definitely throw on extra range so we'll have 56 range 58 stability and 29 handling and that's without any of these proc so you see here perpetual motion this weapon gains bonus stability, handling, and reload speed while the wielder is in motion for a short duration, which is pretty much all the time in PvP, always gonna be motion. So you see here, plus one stack, bumps you up to 68 stability, two stacks up to 78 and 49 handling, which is pretty good. And then we have moving target as well. Increased movement speed and improved target acquisition while moving while aiming down sights. So also on top of perpetual motion, do that, boom, bunch of aim assist. So very great to have it this way. 
Elemental Capacitor is also pretty good as well. I guess it depends on which subclass you're using. With Void, bumps you up to over 100 stability. And with Solar, you get a bunch of reload speed. And then Arc is a bunch of handling. So it's really up to you. But I personally just like to use Moving Target because I'm always in a different subclass. So this is just more consistent for me. But yeah, overall, a very great Pulse Rifle to use. And it's not too hard to get. So definitely get your hands on one of these. Next up, we have the Skylar Potential, which is a 540 RPM Rapid Fire Frame Arc Pulse Rifle. See so you in here. I am running small bore, accurized rounds, and then for the traits, I'm running keep away on top of head seeker. Keep away is good because if you read here, significantly increases reload speed, range, accuracy when no targets are in close proximity. So very beneficial, especially since it's a pulse rifle. We're not really gonna be that close to people a lot of the time. And then we have head seeker. Body shots landed with this weapon increase precision damage and aim assist for a short time. Body shots landed while the perk is active refresh the time. And then for the origin trait, we have dragon's vengeance, which is a pretty good trait. When an ally dies or you reach critical health, this weapon magazine refills and it gains bonus range, charge rate, and handling. Which is one of the main reasons why I like this weapon because of this origin trait. Then we throw on a range masterwork, putting us at 55 range, 58 stability, and 37 handling. And then if we get proc, keep away. You see our range goes up to 67 as well as our reload speed going up to 69. So very good and also one of the main reasons i love this pulse rifle is due to the scope on it and just feels really nice to use so definitely give this one a try it's super easy to get just with the seasonal engrams definitely get this going and try it out yourself now moving on to the last pulse rifle way up in the list we have the philotactic spiral this pulse rifle is really nice because it's a 340 high impact frame so just slow firing and high damage and it's an arc damage type this is one of the more harder weapons to get in my opinion i personally hate farming neo Muna weapons but i think they are easier to get now just back in the day i hated it but i can't lie this weapon is a very good high impact that you can craft it is very nice to use for the perks i like to run hammer forged ricochet rounds and then for the traits i like to run keep away and kill clip this together is insane because this weapon maps people. And then we had our plus 10 stability and we're at 75 range, 64 stability. So very good. And then when you proc kill clip, obviously you're going to be melting people and you're going to have no problem killing people from great range because if you proc keep away, boom, 87 range, you're going to be mapping people. And also the buff and reload speed is also nice because it is a 340. It tend to be kind of slow, so it's always helpful. But yeah, file tactic spiral, a great choice if you want to farm it out. Now looking at the only SMG on our list, we have the Aikilos SMG, which is a very great option. You obtain it from the exotic mission known as Seraph Shield. You can grind that out. It took me personally a long time to get mine. I used my red borders on it once I got enough regular ones because I really love using it and it's a very strong weapon. And it's honestly the only credible SMG I could see fitting on this list. What I like to run on it is a hammer forge for the barrel, accurate as rounds for the magazine, and for the perks, I like to run perpetual motion and tap the trigger. And then for the masterwork, I like to put on range, putting me at 74 range, 27 stability, and a nice 64 handling. This is pretty decent for the eye kilos. It's not a very high stability SMG, but as long as you can control your shots, it's really not that bad and over here looking at perpetual motion you see you proc that up to 37 stability 74 handling boom 47 stability 84 handling then we also have to have the trigger so on the initial trigger pull boom we're up to 91 stability for the first about almost one second so very great for the stability and range you see how much the perks really benefit this section it is very nice especially since with perpetual motion you're always going to be moving dynamics toy is always a good option as well i just personally like this and then it has a nice little origin trait called rescue and arsenal breaking a target shield partially below this weapon's magazine so refills 50 percent of the magazine upon breaking a player's shield magazine's only 28 and it's really nice to get some of your bolts back while you're mid-fight but yeah this is the god roll in my opinion i used to love using range finders that they nerfed it but happy trigger is good some people like gut shot straight but i'm not really a fan of it and yeah that's all for the only smg on this list now moving on to our lovely hand cannon section the first one we have is kept competence sadly i wish the weapon had better rolls but the feel and the rolls it has make it good enough to where it's going to be on this list it's a 140 adaptive frame hand cannon that is strand and you see here from my perks i'm running hammer forged accurized rounds with quick draw and eye of the storm and for the master work i have more range so i have 76 range 63 stability 47 handling not too bad for a hand cannon activate quick draw boom 100 handling eye of the storm boom even more handling and if you're not familiar with how hand cannons work in console handling is what you want why i like eye of the storm is because this weapon becomes more accurate and boosts handling as your health gets lower and it also increases stability so a very nice trait but yeah nothing really else to it this is just a really nice feeling hand cannon and i want to put it on this list as a weapon you should be using next up for our eighth weapon we have another hand cannon known as round robin another neo muna hand cannon it's a 120 aggressive frame hand cannon and it's also strand the perks I like to run on this are fluted barrel ricochet rounds keep away with kill clip 
or you could use opening shot either way but kill clip with the 120 it's nice to two shot people so that's what i like to pick and then i throw in a stability masterwork to get 45 stability and 61 range and then if you activate keep away you get up to 73 range and some good reload speed and of course kill clip just makes you drop people and also is a pretty cool origin trait known as nanotech tracer rockets landing multiple hits turns your next shot into a homing micro rocket which is always funny when that goes off but yeah overall just a great 120 to use you could also use elemental capacitor if you really wanted to have some more stability or handling but it's really up to you void would really be the only thing worth doing for that but yeah if you want to put in the time then to grind out the new moon of weapons or already have this one crafted i would definitely start using it 120s are insane in pvp right now and if you get good with it, you're going to be smacking people. Now we have our last wish hand cannon known as Nation of Beast. It is a 140 adaptive frame once again. And we have Hammer Forged, Accurized Rounds as well for the traits as Opening Shot with Explosive Payload. Explosive Payload and Opening Shot feel amazing on this weapon. Explosive Payload is really fun in PvP. And we throw on a range masterwork. And you see here we have 70 range, 59 stability with 44 handling. We're on Opening Shot. We get over 100 range if you don't know what opening shot does. Greatly improved accuracy and range upon the opening shot of the attack. So overall, your first shot's really hard to miss and it's really good for engaging fights. And then for its origin trait, we have explosive pack. This weapon gains bonus stability and reload speed when activating a grenade ability. Healing grenades and grenade final blows grant additional stacks to the bonus. So a nice little origin trait. And yeah, overall, a very nice hand cannon. Explosive payload and opening shot together just feel insane. Definitely get this crafted. It's really easy to farm last wish. So definitely go farm that and get this crafted. The last weapon on the list, I actually wanted to include a sidearm known as Drang. Everyone knows Drang. Drang is a 300 RPM solar sidearm. It has an interesting frame known as Together Forever. This weapon has a well-rounded adaptive grip, reliable and sturdy kills. Kills with this weapon reload, sturm, and overflow bonus damage around into it. So if you want to run this with sturm, great option. Obviously, it's said right here. But yeah, what I like to run on it is small bore with accurized rounds. Match it up with moving target and zen moment. And it turns into a beast. And then for your masterwork, add range, putting you at 62 range and 72 stability with 71 handling. So overall, some great stats. Also, the 70 aim assist is always nice. And then go over here, add moving target, get some more aim assist, which is always good, and Zen moment. Causing damage of this weapon reduces recoil and flinch over time, improving base stability. So overall, just helps you get your shots in your close range battles with your sidearm. I've always liked Drain. It's the only one of the few sidearms I could really put in this list. It's definitely worth using still to this day. If you happen to have a good one in your vault or you can craft it up, I would definitely do so. The only way I really know that you can get it right now to get the deep sights is from Zur if he happens to be selling it. That's all I really know off the top of my head. But yeah, definitely worth using. And that's the weapon I want to wrap up the video with. But yeah, guys, those are the best 10 craftable weapons for PvP at this current point in Destiny. Let me know how you feel about this list in the comments below. And until next time, my name's Epoxy. Peace.